Okay, I'm back. Um, so if you saw my last video, I had a GPS receiver sitting here and one sitting over there on that pole. I've since taken them in the house. I downloaded the raw data. I processed the vector between these two and I also processed vectors to a an NGS cores cores is a continually operating reference station I picked one nearby and processed the vector the positional tolerances of this point and that point are sub centimeter at 95% confidence you could check my YouTube channel community tab I posted a screenshot of that work I didn't make a video of it for some reason I can't get hangouts to work anymore so I'm gonna learn have to learn a different way of doing that anyway uh, so I processed the vector the vector is good to about uh, 12 seconds so this azimuth here is uh, good to about uh, like I said 12 seconds the value uh, I came up with is a hundred and 102 degrees 44 minutes 16 seconds I've set that on my circle okay 102 degrees 44 minutes 16 seconds is what I've dialed onto the circle and I'm sighting the pole down at the bottom I set a spike over there in the curb <clears throat> anyway, what I'm going to do now is turn the theodolite back to zero and uh, set a reference point over there. Then I'll plunge the scope and set a reference point over there to occupy. So I'll set the theodolite over there and then I'll sight that reference point, make sure it's still in line with this. And then once I've accomplished that, I can move the, the uh, sundial into place. So it'll be a bit of, of walking back and forth uh, getting that done. So I'll just pause the video here to let you see that and let you see the results afterward. Here is what it looks like setting up over a point. There we go. Come on now. I know I could do a better job. Well, sorry folks, it's blurry. But uh, you can see my scribe mark. Well, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so you could see my crosshairs are over the scribe so all right i've got a little work to do and then uh i'll be back so i'm gonna pause it right here all righty so i've turned the theodolite back to zero degrees zero minutes zero seconds so now that is pointing north I've laid, laid, laid a ruler over there, and I'm going to set a rebar, an iron pin, in the ground. I figure if I'm going through all this, I might as well mark it permanently. I'm reading uh, 4.03 on that ruler. I don't know if you can see my crosshair. So... 4.03. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my reference to start banging in that pin. I'll be back. All right. I've, uh, well, you're not going to see it from here. I'll show you here. So I got the pin almost all the way down. Looking good. Had to adjust it a little bit, but uh, I think the top is going to end up just where I want it. All right, back in a second here. Okay, um, <clears throat> so I've driven the pin 
pin is driven all the way down. You're not going to see the pin now. Uh, but the three on the ruler is directly over the pin. And I'm reading 3.01, so it's like an eighth inch. I'm on the head of the pin. The center of the pin is at 3.01, just by plumbing down over the pin. So close enough, I'm sure. Okay, so the next step is to plum, or plunge the scope <clears throat> and set a reference over here someplace. All right, I'll be back. I really should be mowing the lawn. It's tall grass over there. I had to set the ruler on top of uh, one of my other tools, the, the carpenter's level. Anyway, it's the grass is wet though because it's been raining for so many days. Uh, I'm trying to let it dry out. So anyway, I'm reading uh, 393. It's almost on line with the uh, bird bird bath over there. You can see that. So, and of course, the angle is the same because all I've done is plunged the scope. Where's the, where's the thing here? Let's go like that. There you go. So, let me go uh, start hammering that pin in at 393 and get it started. And I'll be back. getting there the top is going to be I got to drive it slightly to the right but uh, we'll get it on we'll get it in the right spot I'll be back all right the pin is driven it's down low so you can't see it and I've plumbed the number four Four foot right over the pin so you can see we're good there a hundredth either way would still be on top of the pin but that's pretty much the center of the pin all right so the next step is to move the theodolite onto the pin and then <clears throat> sight uh, that point there Okay, <clears throat> so I'm set up over the pin. And I'm sighting the other pin across the driveway. At, at this point, that was a mosquito getting me. At this point, there's no angles to turn at all. We're just creating a, a, an alignment here. So I'm sighting on that. And so that means I'm on the meridian. And when I drop down to the location where the sundial will be, is it? I'll show you that. You can't really see the scribe on the on the uh, block, but I have the number five plumbed directly over the scribe mark, and I'm nailing it. So we're on the meridian here. That's where the sundial is going to go. Let me uh, slide it over there. It's a heavy sucker too. All right. So uh, the pedestal is in place the number five on the ruler is directly over the center point of the top so now I'll go put the sundial on there all right I think that's uh, gonna do it The 
it's pretty pretty darn aligned when you say I think that concludes the, uh, the video of setting a sundial using GPS to get your azimuth. All right. Um, so I'll play with this over the next few weeks, you know, as we have sun here. <laughs> so, um, you know, see how it looks. Tweak it. All right, I'm going to say so long, and uh, what's coming up? Uh, might be doing a boat trip soon, a long boat trip, like 50 miles or more. That's uh, just looking for things that interest me, and uh, that that's something I wanted to do for a while now, is take a GPS receiver. I think what would really be cool is to... Uh, go on a cruise like out of New York and uh, go about a thousand miles down to the Caribbean run a GPS receiver the whole time plot plot those ECEF coordinates all right uh, I'm just kind of blathering here now I'll say uh, so long for now <laughs>